What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to another FIFA 13 gameplay episode on my channel here today. I'm going to be playing Kazooie94. Uh, you've probably seen his FIFA 13 compilation already. Absolutely incredible stuff. He is a wonderful, wonderful skiller on this game. Uh, he chose to go with Atletico Madrid. I chose to go with FC Porto for this match. And you can see a little five-star skiller action on the screen right there. Fernando Belushi, the Argentinian, he is five-star skills as as well as the right wing, Brazilian right wing. His name is Kelvin. He is five star skills as well, at least in the build that we played. Now, these ratings can change, so don't uh, go by everything you know that you may or may not actually see on here. At least that's what I'm told. My understanding is that the ratings still have a possibility of changing. The st skill star rating still has a possibility of changing as well. But one interesting thing to take away is Danilo, the uh, Brazilian former center mid from FIFA 12, is now default set as a right back in FIFA 13. Now this is excellent because this gives, uh, especially since Jao Pereira has moved on to Valencia in the Liga BBVA. This gives the Liga Portuguese an excellent right back option uh, to use there. Now, mind you, this is still a setup with Hulk on the team because he his transfer just went through last week, I believe, to Zenit St. Petersburg. Uh, so he will not be on Porto for FIFA 13, but that is okay. They still have a wonderful, wonderful team. Jackson Martinez is an absolute monster on this game. He's got the pace. He's got the skills. And we're going to get things kick-started here in the eighth minute. Nice little passing move forward. Uh, kind of the, the animations where the players go out of passes is crazy. It allows for quick passing. It allows um, bad defending to essentially be exploited. I think that's really what it boils down to most for me is that if somebody is defending poorly, they are going to get exploited. No question about it. And uh, I thought that was going to be a penalty call right there. It was not. So refereeing, on the most part, it's, it's very good. Um, I don't know what maybe happened there, but overall, the referee AI has been improved by quite a bit. That was really the only instance in any of the games that I had that I thought, hey, you know, ref, what, what is going on right there? Mind you, I'll yell at the ref more often than not for, you know, silly reasons, but that's, hey, that's just my style, and you guys know that. Thought the chip was going to be there, but there's the goalkeeper AI, backpedal, 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 and punches it over his bar, but it is okay because Mengala is going to get free here and put the header away. The French center back uh, for Porto, he's very good. He still has the pace, so he's going to be highly sought after at the beginning of Ultimate Team, and you will be able to pick him up for a nice little coin total. Um, as a whole, many of the uh, Portuguese league teams play as a 4-3-3 default set. And this is uh, not something that I'm extremely good with. But if you are good in a 4-3-3 formation, by all means, check out these teams because they will fit your play style 100%. And that's just a wonderful fake from Kazooie. But even better to get back and go for it. That was a manual slide tackle from Mangala, but you see him lift his leg, and that's a bit of that AI that's now been built into the game. You'll see it from time to time with passing as well, where the player will make a pass and he'll chip it up over the defender's leg to make sure the pass you know gets on through. Pretty crazy stuff. There's also a swerve pass in here, and I'll try to find a good example of, of that eventually, uh, but I don't think there is one in this game. I do remember saying, oh my gosh, the first time I saw it in its full effect. So it it's one of the cool new things that's been put in here that if you can get it to be controlled properly, you are going to greatly increase your game and you're going to benefit from it in its, in, in its entirety. I did mention in the formation video that I did showing you all the default formations that I very much enjoy, the 442 diamond wide as well as the 4222. I found myself lacking that attacking mid in this formation. Now Belushi fits that role wonderfully. He's five star skills. However, I want to say that he's transferred to Fenerbahce, which does not mean good things for FIFA 13. But don't quote me on that because I am not totally sure. Now, I'm going to briefly run through the first touch control again because I've mentioned it in my past videos where sometimes you're just like, oh my gosh, you're, you're, the first touch has just let my player down. And this is a wonderful sequence from Kazooie. And what an incredible chip at the end of the sequence right after halftime. Absolutely just shredded my defense. Uh, but back to the first touch control. What's interesting about it is... 
it, it can it can definitely be controlled even with the lower rated teams now this is this goes down to your football iq it's play the way you're facing aim your guy with the left stick to take his first touch into open space if you do these things they're going to drastically help but the biggest tip that i can give you guys to begin with while you get ready to make that transition uh over to the newest fifa and the demos getting ready to drop is when you are receiving a pass lay off the right trigger if you are holding sprint you will fail and it's just one of those things where players sprinting just like it would be in real life it's far more difficult to control the ball if your player is going at a dead on sprint now there are times when you're like ah oh, he should be able to take that on a dead sprint and then you know what there are times when it works out and you end up blowing by all the defenders with some sort of crazy touch but for the most part lay off the right trigger um you can even hold left trigger while you're receiving passes to help you out a little bit more and you will be in good shape and good to go with the transition from fifa 12 to fifa 13 and draw a nice little penalty here showing off some of the skills kazooie brings out all of the skilling in me it's one of those weird things where i don't really consider myself to be a skiller uh but every so often i suppose it is quite fun to whip them out and have a good time with it uh but hulk uh, wonderful little penalty situation which you just saw kazooie do right there is a new kind of feature you can do uh when you're at a standstill if you use the left bumper you can move around the left stick and it's going to be kind of a fifa street-esque movement to uh you know do little pullbacks draw the ball back draw the ball forward uh ends up looking very cool i scored a wonderful goal with neymar doing something very very much like that hopefully i'll be able to upload uh just some of the random goals that i scored sporadically that just didn't really necessarily piece together a full-on nice gameplay uh, but we'll have to see i will do my best to have that uploaded as quickly as possible as far as uploads go for today i have a few skill games that i'd like to upload i have a few more gameplay videos that i'd like to upload so as soon as this video gets that right kind of support uh, i will be uploading more stuff and i'm uploading it quickly i want to get as much content out to you guys as possible so you can kind of get a feel and an idea for the game and i uh, you know start getting your mind right in terms of what you what your plan is for you know how you're going to do head to head what you're going to work on in the demo and what players you already might be thinking about getting in ultimate team for those of you that do play ultimate team that is nice little passing sequence though working it all the way around and that's what i'm talking about when i say possessions and for important especially the ability to keep possession in your opponent's final third you will eventually have to work a pass and let your opponent make a mistake defensively when that happens you will be able to explore exploit it 10 times out of 10 if your passing is quite good and your vision is quite good on the pitch as well anyways guys we're closing out this episode here uh, i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did a like is always greatly appreciated it does help me out and i do appreciate your support other than that my name is japes and i will catch you all next time